Black Friday is almost here and usually we can make a lot of coins during that because there's so much content and many different things we can make profit on. So I sold my Bear Company fairly on Mendy already, invested more than 400,000 coins in one type of card and we still have 100,000 coins to spend on other investments. And in this video I'll also show some leaked stuff from the Black Friday promo. I will have a timestamp and I will say it in the video so if you don't want to see those leaks then in that section you can just skip ahead. But let me get into it and show you what I invested in and that is Informs. I've already said multiple times that lost year these cards went to like 40,000 coins during black friday and is that gonna happen now i don't think so but are they gonna go up possibly because we have a lot of content that we'll get into in a second so we have all the leaked stuff in just one section but i bought all the 86 rated for less than 14,000 coins and all the other ratings mostly 84 83 rated i bought for either 13,000 coins or 12,750 and i just bought one of each i just went through the team of the weeks went to the fodder cards they were around 14,000 coins so i tried to snipe under it and the was a better time frame to buy these players probably because if we look at the prices they have been like 13,000 coins for a little bit as well but if you look at the the card like usually it's around 14,000 coins but that's only today if we check the past three days we can see that they go up from 13 to 50 to like 14 to 50 so they're around that mark since i don't have too much time i try to buy it for this price which is a fair price you know that's the current price that they're going for and pretty much all of them are around that price and then the 84 83 rated you can get under 13,000 coins if we look at him for example the past three days he was quite set at 12,750 with a few spikes to 13,000 few spikes down to 12,500 but that's about it so if you get a good snipe you can get them for less because if we look at the recently sold items we see a 12 to 50 a few times so if you sit on a player for like a few minutes you can definitely get a better price and what i like to do is just buy one of everyone then if there's an evo that one of them goes up then we have them in the club but in general if informs go up they all go up and this way you don't waste any space they can go all into your club we have two that we already had in the club that i still bought so i'm gonna lazy list those and i do have three player picks here but since i want to do another investment where i also need to open packs for i'm gonna open these but all the other packs that i have i'm gonna save for next week because the black friday promo is actually crazy let me quickly open these and then i'll show you everything that's leaked already and why it's important to know those leaks to make profit on but let's first open these there's a new way of opening opening packs or picks and it takes super long and it was not worth it let me know by the way guys what you think of this like <sighs> It's a bit too slow in my opinion. But what Palmer from my community said is in Madden, I think he said, they have this as well. And sometimes you can pick multiple. As you can see on the top, it says now pick zero out of one. And we can now choose one. And let's go for the one we don't have yet. And now it's pick one out of one. So they could very easily now implement that we get player picks where we can choose two. So that might happen in the future because why would you change it up otherwise like this? But let's confirm that one. We have two 84 pluses. Review all. Then I don't need to click them all. Okay, Addison, nice. And Ederson is especially nice. No, I already have him. It's nice that it shows that we have him on tradable as well. I will still choose him because it's fodder. He can go to the storage. But I thought I had him tradable, but I have him tradable on my main account. Oh, it's a tradable pick. That's even better. Never mind. I don't even need to worry. These are the rival rewards. So this is tradable. That's perfect. That's some nice coins. What's this one going to be? 86. Okay. Now I'm already more happy about an 86, 87. Let's go. That's some decent coins. Okay, guys, it's time for the leaks. So if you don't want to see any leaks, skip ahead. I have time frames on my video, so you can just skip to the next one. And then we're going to talk about what to invest next. Let me show you what is coming during Black Friday. And let me start with the teams. We have a Thunderstruck team that's coming. This is all the players that are going to come. There are probably a few that will have a different car type. I don't think Gundagon will be a Thunderstruck card, but I will get into that in a second. We have super popular players like an Mbappe, KDB, Valverde. There are so many good ones. Saliba as well. We're gonna save packs just for this team alone. And then next to that, this team will be available as well. Sadly, no Henri because then we have something to really go and try to pack. But look at the players that are here. This will all be during Black Friday. So why wouldn't we save packs right now? There are a few FC Pro players that I'm like, oh, that would be cool to pack. But is it worth it right now? No. If this is coming, I'm saving my packs. But I also put this text here. Black Friday info. By the way, if you 
you want to join my Discord and get this right away whenever I post this, the link to my Discord is in my bio. We have a club check that during Black Friday, we're going to use this a lot because there's going to be a lot of players that are going to be up in price for just a few hours probably. And this is going to come in very handy. The more people use this, the more profit we're going to make. It's very handy. But if we go back to the leaks, on the 27th, best of team of the week will be in packs. So we're going to get some good team of the week. So if you have good team of the weeks that you have tradable, it might be worth it to sell because if they become the best team of the week, then it might drop in price. Then the day after, best of campaign. So multiple players that have already been in a promo are going to be re-released and again, going to lose value because a lot of people are going to open packs. They're going to lose value. Then the day after, on that Friday, Black Friday, Thunderstruck team, Thunderstruck icons. And from Friday in the afternoon already, we will have hourly promo packs, which is going to crash the market, in my opinion. And the most important thing of this, we will have flash SBCs, challenges, and upgrade SBCs. Especially those flash SBCs are going to be massive. It depends how many hours they're active. Because we have had years that we're only active an hour. And then you have an hour to complete an SBC to get a good pack from it. Everyone is going to go over to Fudbing, go to their solutions, and buy those players. All those players are going to go up to like 5,000 coins. And that's where our previous investment is going to come in very handy. I will talk about it in a second. But you want to have bronze and silver players in your club. Probably also some gold players players but especially bronze and silver since they're like super cheap as well so that is when we are gonna make a lot of money probably but they're gonna be challenges they're gonna be upgrade sbcs they're gonna be party bags an icon sbc a hero pick sbc there's gonna be thunderstruck icons special items just all types of players that are gonna get sbcs and what do you usually need for sbcs team of the weeks so what did we do we bought team of the weeks and that's why last year they went up a lot because you needed so much and so many people wanted to do it so potentially this year we could also see an increase in price of two the weeks obviously new evils as well so they're gonna be certain players that are gonna go up in price if there's a good evo but i don't really invest in evo kind of cards but then we also have winter champion cards which get this card design and if they reach a certain position in their league before a certain date they get a plus two overall and an extra play style i'm not really sure how this is gonna work but it's pretty much gonna be a card where it literally says like hey if their team for example liverpool if they finish at the top of the of the domestic league by january 3rd 2025 they will get an upgrade we also have these for example if they finish above relegation zone at the same date they also get an upgrade so it's like kind of cool i guess but not really sure how everything is gonna work or when what is coming besides the info that we have here right now so if i know more i will post it in discord that will always stay up to date so again if you feel like joining if you just want to vibe with us or just be there for the leaks all good feel free to join link is in my description so now it's time to show you what we're gonna invest in with the remaining one 100,000 coins that we have. And it's very simple. We're gonna open bronze packs if we can find them here. Wait, our bronze... Oh. <laughs> I thought bronze packs were gone. My bad. Why are bronze packs at the front and then gold and silver? Also doesn't make sense. But it's EA. But we're gonna open bronze packs and we're gonna bid on silver cards. If you haven't seen the leaks yet, I also won't spoil why that is, but it's pretty much the same as always. We do it for SBCs. When SBCs drop and players are needed, we sell our players that we invest in. So we're gonna look at the silver commons. They are currently insta-selling for like 200 coins. So we can probably get them on bid for 150. Let's skip a few pages further. Bid 150. Okay, people are bidding so I, I think the 200 mark at the moment is better but we can always try and see if it works that's what i would suggest you guys doing as well just bid 150 see if you can find some okay we're already at two minutes so i would honestly suggest just bid 200 but if when you do it you can bid 150 go ahead make some more profit than me you know the entire guide of this investment i will put again at the end of this video in case you haven't seen it yet but we're gonna bid 150 or 200 on these silver rares we're gonna buy and while we're waiting for them to expire and wait till we go for a new batch we open bronze packs and we already sold quite a few things over the last week well we sold Berkham with quite a big loss of course we have other the list that we packed Fairland Mendy I sold but look at this all the silver players especially from the French league because of the SBC 2700 2700 we have Brazilian players this one is also from the French league 2600 look at all the prices 4000 4400 we made a lot of profit already we have a Hudlin which was good for an evolution because he is six foot nine and he would get 90 pace with a good place of plus as well so he was very popular. We had him trade away in the club because we opened some bronze packs. And there we go. 5,000 coins, pretty much. And then we still have some other players here that sold for crazy prices. We also have Brazilian players here that was good for, like, a SBC. But in the end, they dropped faster than I was able to sell them because I was streaming at that moment. Otherwise, we could have made a decent amount of profit on those as well. So especially with the SBCs that are coming, if you've seen the leaks, we gotta be ready. And I will maybe even stream earlier because we're gonna get content earlier than usual. And we're gonna sell those players that we have in the club if they're relevant to be 
sold. And I think we're gonna make a lot of money. But yeah, you also wanna open some bronze packs in between. Whenever you have time, before you hop into a game, open like one or two bronze packs and then hop into a game or something like that. Then you already fill up the club a little bit more. Obviously, you wanna roughly have like at least 50,000 coins to do this investment. And then you just double check the players if you can't be bothered or you just keep them all in your club and you wait for the right moment. And then of course, all of this, we quick sell and we send this to the club. And honestly, it's a little bit of a different episode, especially because we have leaks now, which I usually don't show in my YouTube videos. If you want me to do that more often, we can, but my YouTube videos are usually a few days later than the leaks come in. So don't know how relevant it is, but I thought, especially with Black Friday coming up, it was super relevant now to show you where I'm coming from and why I'm investing in certain things. I'm gonna make sure I spend the last 95,000 coins on silver players and bronze packs, and then we're ready for Black Friday. If you have any questions about Black Friday, about the promo, about anything that I showed or anything that I didn't show, please let me know in the comments. If you want to vibe with me during Black Friday when I'm live, I will be live on Twitch. Link is in the description. And I'm going to keep it at this. going to play my champs for the next episode. And then the episode after that, we have a big pack opening because we're saving everything. Thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for coming, man. Thank you. We really appreciate it.